Welcome ladies and gentlemen. I want to appreciate you so much because of your great support. William Ruto has been exposed badly. When you look and also you've seen the head, of course, their interdenominational Thanksgiving political rally in Nakuru as 10 or more buses Fearing people, imagine from Kiambu, from Nyeri, from Kirinyaga, from Muranga, and Nyandarwa to Nakuru to attend the Thanksgiving political rally in Nakuru. And because I have a, that video, I want you to watch. Then after watching, I want us to have a critical analysis. Reason why it has reached at a point even William Samoyeruto fearing people to his interdenominational thanksgiving political rallies in the churches. So watch that video, then we continue. <laughs> Angalia, <laughs> 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 Kuisha <laughs> 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 that's I think you have watched that video. And what we are being told, and even the names of the buses, you can read. The buses are from Kiambu County. The buses are from Nyeri County. The buses are from Kirinyaga County. The buses are from Nyandarwa County to Nakuru. Ladies and gentlemen, William Samuel Ruto is misusing Kikuyus badly. It means that Kikuyus, they don't have problems. They have a space and even time to be ferried to this Zakayo's interdenominational thanksgiving, these political rallies that are being done by William Ruto and his brigade. It will not be fair to William Ruto to concentrate on such an issue that is not important. As you know that Kenyans are passing a lot of challenges. As you speak now, people are facing a lot of challenges when it comes to drought. Famine, 
is coming back hitting different and a bigger percentage of counties across the Republic of Kenya. When you relate with whatever Raila Odinga is doing, Raila Odinga is doing it naturally. But William Samuel Ruto is transporting or ferrying people to attend his Thanksgiving church political rallies so that people can see that he is having people. William Ruto is not having people. People are, un uh, people are in anger. They are not even concentrating on William Samuel Ruto. The sign that you have seen William Ruto ferrying people to his meetings, it means that Kenyans are done with William Ruto. They are not comfortable and even they have already left him just walking alone. When you look at even whatever we, Railo Dinga is doing, Railo Dinga is doing naturally. I have not seen anywhere Railo Dinga ferrying people to his rallies. You saw whatever happened in Kamkunji. Raila never ferried anyone. In fact, people are just streaming in naturally. When you saw whatever happened in Jakaranda, it was naturally. It was not something that was forced. People were not forced. When you look at Machakos Mavoko, yesterday, it was, uh, the other day, it was naturally. When you watched Kisumu yesterday, Rwanda, it was natural. People are tired with this regime of William Ruto. As we speak, whatever Raila Odinga has gotten when it comes to the reception from Busia, it is an indication that, ladies and gentlemen, Kenyans are fed up with this regime of William Ruto. Morning to evening, it is about talking. Morning to evening, it is about narrations. Morning to evening, we will do this, we will do this, we will do this. And in truly, you cannot see even what these people have done. It is something that is so paining as people from Kiambu, people from Nyeri, Kirinyaga, Muranga and Nyandarwa are being ferried to Nakuru so that we are being told that they are being facilitated with 1,500 Kenyan shillings. It's like people from Nakuru they are fed up of with these people. In fact, it was announced even in various um, media houses. I thought that people of Nakuru were the one to attend the meetings. It was not in our expectations that people from Kiambu, people from Nyeri, people from Kirinyaga, people from Muranga, Anyandarwa were going to be ferried of course, in that interdenominational inter thanksgiving in Nakuru. It is literally and pure output that Kenyans are not truly comfortable and they are fed up with these promises day in, day out of this Mr. Zakai, Nabi William Samuel Ruto. And even when you look at his deputy, it is something that is purely understood by Kenyans. That these people will not do things. They will not do anything in this country. Because these people are claiming that they don't have money. They are spending more money, literally, of course, in these meetings that they are having. Finding people, one thousand, imagine one bus is carrying even more than 16 people, more than even 20 people. Yes? Then you want to pay them 1000 500, 1,500 each of them. Then imagine these people, the buses are more than 10. The buses are more than 10. It means you are giving these people handouts, which after that, this 1,500 cannot even afford them to have a budget of even a whole week. Today, even if you stream into the supermarket with 1,500, will not enable you to have something that you can even reach within or you can uh, can accommodate you for two two weeks. It is just about two days or three days. You've finished about this 1,500. Another thing that I'm against William Ruto, you cannot continue using Kikuyus. Where are Kikuyus in the house? Because he knew that he cannot transport 
Kalenjins from different counties in Rift Valley. He cannot come out to transport people from, uh, of course, Samburu or Narok or Turkana or even Bamed. He has seen that those people in Yeniraisi who are convinced with money is Kikuyo. They are just giving handouts, 1,500. 1,500 will not solve your issues. Let William Ruto come out to ensure that the price of Unga is going to be dropped. If the price of Unga has been dropped, it is more important than even William Ruto ferrying people, then those people who have been ferried, they are being paid 1,500. It is better for these people to lower the price of electricity, fuel, and water than ferrying people from different counties especially from Kikuyu counties, then paying them 1,500, you will not help that person. And this is a kind of life and of course a type of leadership that we are in. Then we are telling people that this regime does not have something important. They don't have. They don't have something important to tell Kenyans. And that is why Day in, day out, they continue to narrate issues. Yes? Day in, day out, they continue to narrate issues. Now, when you look at the bandits, Kindiki Kiture is just coming out with stories, stories, stories. No action. I've listened to William Ruto now saying that Kindiki should live there. It doesn't make sense. He will live there, but with no action, nothing can happen. So ladies and gentlemen, what are your thoughts towards whatever William Ruto now has come out to use Gamer Nation to give him a sympathy crowd in his this Thanksgiving political rallies in different churches? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, I want to appreciate you so much because of great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting and sharing this video. Till we meet on another video.